in a triangle ABC, XY is parallel to AC and XY divides the triangle into two parts of equal area. Find the ratio of AX by XB. In some problems, AX by AB will be given, but here AX by XB is given. Okay. So we have a triangle ABC. We have a triangle ABC. All right. And XY is parallel to AC. So AC is here. Let us draw XY here xy is parallel to ac so these two lines are parallel to each other okay and this xy is dividing abc into two parts of equal area okay which means for example if area of triangle abc is 100 if area of triangle abc is 100 this part will be 50 and this part will be 50 okay this will be 50 and this will be 50 because xy is dividing the area into two equal parts okay all right so if the area of the smaller triangle is 100 area of the bigger triangle will be 200 right okay so can we say area of big triangle abc area of triangle abc is two times area of the smaller triangle isn't it area of triangle xby all right so let me write it neatly and bigger area of triangle abc is two times area of triangle xby okay like for example if the area of this smaller triangle is 50 what will be what will be the area of abc big triangle 100 right? so if area of xby is 50 so 2 into 50 100 area of triangle abc will be 100 okay so we'll come back to this now xy is parallel to ac given okay xy is parallel to ac which means angle c will be equal to angle y and angle a will be equal to angle x since a and x will be corresponding and c and y will be corresponding angles and angle b is common so we have two similar triangles here okay let us draw those two similar triangles here again so there is no confusion a b c and another similar triangle is x b y okay so xy is parallel to ac which means angle c and angle y are equal angle c is equal to angle y okay and angle b is common angle b is equal to angle b common right and angle a will be equal to angle x okay so angle a will be equal to angle x so can we say triangle abc abc is similar to triangle xby by angle 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 criteria all three angles are equal so these two sim these two triangles should be similar to each other right yes now we know that area of triangle abc divided by area of triangle xby if two triangles are similar to each other then the ratio of the areas will be equal to ratios of the squares of their corresponding sides right so let us write corresponding sides here see we need ax and xb okay so we need ax and xb right so xb is here ab is here so let us take xb and ab corresponding sides so ab divided by xb whole square okay so ab divided by xb whole square all right now area of triangle abc is twice the area of xby right so in place of area of triangle abc let us substitute 2 into area of xby so it is 2 into area of triangle xby divided by here area of triangle xby okay so this area of triangle xby area of triangle xby will get cancelled is equal to this is ab by xb whole square this square comes here becomes root right 
so it will be root 2 ab by xb it will actually be plus minus root 2 but since ab and xb are two positive numbers because ab is a uh, side xb is a side so both will be positive positive divided by positive should give us positive that's why we are not considering minus root 2 here okay so we are we are taking only plus root 2 now if you see the diagram what is the value of ab ab can we write it as ax plus xb ax plus xb yes so in place of ab we are writing ax plus xb divided by xb and this is root 2 okay so root 2 is equal to let us separate it ax by xb plus xb by xb okay this will give us 1 and this one goes here becomes root 2 minus 1 is equal to ax by xb okay we needed to find this ratio only find the ratio of ax by xb so we have ax by xb what is the ratio root 2 minus 1 divided by 1 if nothing is there in the denominator it is 1 there right so what is the ratio root 2 minus 1 by 1 is the ratio of ax by xb